Case four was called successes in HER2 positive breast cancer and where do we go from here? HER2 positive breast cancer has been one of our greatest success stories in, in uh, treatment options for patients with breast cancer. HER2 positive disease uh, was traditionally one of the most aggressive subtypes of breast cancer and now because of the advent of HER2 targeted therapies, we've really been able to change the, the course for these patients dramatically. When we went through the case for the HER2 positive patient that we presented, uh, we highlighted some of the challenges that we have in terms of a diagnosis of HER2 positive disease, and we went through the ASCO CAP 2018 update um, and really highlighted one of those more difficult to to um, clarify cases of HER2 positive disease. In this case, uh, it was a patient that had uh, the group three uh, finding of a HER2 copy number over six, but a ratio less than two. And we worked through how the guidelines recommended to adjudicate that, that result. And then we reviewed some of the updates that were presented at San Antonio uh, in terms of the affinity data and also talked about the ATTEMPT trial, which was an important study looking at TDM1 in stage one uh, HER2 positive disease. And then as we progressed forward throughout the case, the patient that we um, spoke about developed metastatic disease and ultimately brain metastases, which we know is an important unmet need uh, in terms of treatment options for these patients. We reviewed the exciting data that was presented at San Antonio with tocatinib. We also reviewed the newly approved drug and HER2 for HER2 positive breast cancer patients and talked about toxicity management and the important uh, uh, ILD um, uh, toxicity that, that can be seen with that drug. So we closed by reviewing ongoing clinical trials that are uh, important ones to watch for and new and exciting drugs uh, so that we can continue to improve upon the successes in HER2-positive breast cancer.